Well, your Mir Sanchez is pissed. And he drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And today, we're talking about the Giants. The San Francisco Giants have signed yet another infielder. And this time, it's a big league contract. Two-year deal with a third year as an option, as a team option. This is a $6 million contract, and it's going out to Wilmer Flores. And he's also a second baseman. And Sanchez, Yomer Sanchez, former White Sox, 2019 Gold Glove Award winner just signed a minor league deal with the Giants and per Ken Rosenthal, he signed that deal because he thought he had a chance to be a everyday player, a starter on the Giants. And he turned down big league offers to sign with the Giants because they apparently told him he has a chance to be the starter. And then they turn around and they sign this guy, you know, Wilmer Flores. And they also already had Dubon, who I thought was going to be the starter, but now maybe the plan is to play Dubon a little in the outfield, move him around a little bit, be like a super utility guy. Personally, I loved him at the idea of just having him at second base as our solid second baseman, but whatever, we'll see what happens there. But now yet another guy's in the mix, and that's after they already signed Pablo Sandoval too. And on top of that all, they already got who I feel is an extremely capable infielder, and that's Donovan Solano. He only hit 330 last year. I mean, I guess that's not good enough. I mean, I understand you can't just assume he's going to repeat that, but you know, Donovan Solano has tore up pitching for the last three years if you look at his minor league numbers. Now, I know AAA numbers might not matter, but when you get promoted and do the same damn thing at the big league level, maybe then they do matter. Maybe you're just a good hitter. Now, Donovan Solano is going to be there in spring training, but, you know, God forbid he struggles a little bit and gets sent somewhere else and tears it up for some other team. I really like Donovan Solano. I hope that he sticks with the Giants at least as a backup somewhere. But now you got this guy and Wilmer Flores is coming in as I assume he's going to be a starter. Maybe not. Maybe he'll come off the bench as well, but he's definitely going to be on the team. He'll be on the roster. Giants got a ton of guys now. You know, I don't know how they're going to deal with it, but I assume Sanchez can't be too happy. Yomer Sanchez has to be like, what the hell? You guys told me he had a chance to be the every day starter. They'll be like, oh, you, you do. You still do. I'm like, well, you just signed this guy to a big league contract and you got Dubon. I mean, what's going on here? Maybe he doesn't care. He's just going to come perform and see what happens. But anyway, as for this deal, how do I feel about it? Again, the guy can hit. He had a nice season last year with the D-backs. Flores hit 317, 361 on base, 487 slugging. Has a little bit of pop. He can play every position, by the way, so it's not necessarily stuck at second base. And that's part of what I assume Farhan saw in this guy, because he can play every position except catcher. He's never played catcher, but he can pretty much play every other position except catcher and pitcher. Really solid player. Seems to be a nice guy. Everyone loves Wilmer Flores. Awesome. Cool to have him in San Francisco with the Giants. Just a little confused on exactly who's going to play where. And I guess we'll have to find out about that. This guy's not a game changer as far as I'm concerned. Not going to turn the Giants into a winning team. He's a good hitter compared to the Giants, I guess. For a Giant, he's a good hitter. You know, if he was on the Dodgers, they would just send him down to single A, okay? I mean, that's how good the Dodgers are compared to the Giants right now. This is our big signing right here, okay? Dodgers got Mookie Betts. We got Wilmer Flores and Yolmer Sanchez and Pablo Sandoval, okay? And really, like I said before, I already love who we got, actually. I prefer Dubon and Solano. That's what I just do. I really think those guys are awesome. So, you know, but it's cool to have more options. It's cool to have depth. No problem. It's really not a huge deal, though. It's not that big of a signing. Not sure what's going to happen. Guys are going to be playing all over the place. There's no doubt. Flores might be in the outfield as well. Sanchez, maybe he wants Sanchez at second base after all because he's such a good defender. You know, and I'm all about defense, but when you can only hit two home runs all season long, when you don't provide much offense at all, that's not what the Giants need. Sorry about that. That's not what the Giants need. Yeah, you're going to have a sick up the middle infield with, you know, Crawford and Sanchez. If that were the case, that is a really solid defensive infield, but neither can hit very well. And, you know, Crawford's even better. I'm talking about maybe it's time to move on from Crawford. Crawford hits better than Sanchez. Why are you going to put Sanchez out there? I don't understand that signing because, you know, I do understand it if he's just for some depth piece or something like that, but I don't understand if you're really considering putting him as your everyday starter. I would think he's better suited as a backup, as a role player or something like that. Talking about Sanchez. So Wilmer Flores, by the way, he's really good against left-handed pitching. So whenever there's a lefty out there, Flores will probably be in the lineup. And I also 
always forget there is a 26 man roster this season so they're changing it to 26 so they do have that extra spot to work with so they could have another infielder on the roster if they choose and i'll say it again before i go do not sleep on donovan solano don't give up on solano that guy can hit he hit 330 last year he tears it up i really hope he's on the team in 2020 he needs to be on that roster when opening day hits there's no doubt about that so anyway Tell me what you all think below about this signing Wilmer Flores. What do you think of Wilmer Flores? What do you think of Yolmer Sanchez? What do you think of Donovan Solano? What do you think of Pablo Sandoval? What do you think of all these infield? What do you think of Mauricio Dubon playing some center field and moving around instead of getting comfortable just at second base and being our main second baseman? What do you think of what's going on? Tell me what you think and we will talk about it below. Appreciate you guys joining me today. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Make sure to check out the links in the description below and check out my Patreon page. That's the best way to give back to this channel. Help me continue to make more videos. Help me to grow the channel and spend more time on Hum Baby Baseball. That would be awesome. But I understand if you can't do that, just hit the subscribe button and hit that thumbs up and that will definitely help out a ton as well. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you later. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's five.